Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to So Custom. Today's video is going to be how I made the pattern for this little number. I uploaded how I made the sleeve for this on Tuesday, so check that one out. This one, I'm going to show how I did the bodice, front and back, peplum, front and back. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the tracing, I'm tracing here my front knit block. I'm making sure when I do that I'm transferring my markings. I have a folded layer of paper underneath, just marking in my apex there, marking in my waist, making my apex a little bit more visible, and then drawing a line from that point to the waist, making sure I'm at a right angle at the waist. And now I'm going to unfold that paper underneath and I've went ahead and just transferred all of those same markings to the other side. And now I'm ready to pattern the wrap part. So on that apex waistline, I'm measuring up three and a half inches, giving myself a little dot. And then at the neck, I'm measuring in half an inch. Just labeling both of those marks so that I know in the future. So three and a half inches up from the waist and a half an inch in at the neck. Now just joining those two points with a straight line. So that's the first part of my wrap. So now to join at the side seam. So I'm measuring up there from the waist three inches. And then at a right angle from that apexed waistline, I'm just going to give myself a little dashed line coming towards that apex waistline and I'm going to finish off joining both of those lines with a curve. So using my hip curve here to help me out and that is my wrap top piece. So now before I separate the peplum from the bodice, I'm just going to reduce the length of the peplum. So I've just taken off two inches there and I'm now going to draw in my slash lines. So I'm using that apexed waistline, just extending it down to the hem of the peplum and then separating my peplum piece from my bodice. I'm going to remove any excess paper and give myself a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around. So I've went ahead and done that off camera and now just labeling. So that's my front bodice and I shall cut two. And now to come back to the peplum, so I've just added a one centimeter seam allowance to the side seam and the hem. And now just slashing through those lines you see me mark earlier. I'm opening up those slash lines by two inches. I pop some fresh paper in underneath those slash lines. And once I'm happy, everything's lying nice and flat, sticking everything down. And now to do the same on the other side. So slashing through to the top, but not through the top. Opening up the slash line by two inches. Once I'm happy, everything's nice and flat, sticking everything down. And now just to smooth off that little space I left by opening my slash lines. So that's that done. And now just to pop in some seam allowance along the top, which I've went ahead and done off camera, and just to label. So this is my front peplum and I shall cut one despite me writing down two there. So that's my front bodice and peplum complete. So now on to the back. So I just have one layer of paper underneath my knit block back, which I'm tracing here. I'm doing the same as I did on the front. I'm making sure I'm transferring all of my markings. So drawing in my waistline, I've marked in a couple of notches at my sleeve. And now to make the same adjustments to the back. So I've just measured up two inches from the hem. 
I'm measuring in from the neckline on the shoulder a half an inch, drawing in a nice new curve for my neckline. And now I want to create a slash line for the back peplum. So I'm just measuring in five and a half inches from the side seam, drawing myself a nice straight line down to the hem and I'll use that line in exactly the same way as I did on the front. I do that off camera but you'll see the result in a second. So I've just separated the bodice from the peplum at the waist. I've given myself a one centimeter seam allowance on the bodice and I shall cut that piece on the fold. And then for the peplum, I've given myself that seam allowance at the waist, side seam and hem. I've opened up the peplum in the same way as I did the front, by that same two inches. And that one also will be cut on the fold. So that's my back pattern pieces complete. And then for the sleeve, I've shown how to pattern this sleeve in a separate video, which I shall link down below. But that is this entire pattern complete. So I have my front bodice, my back bodice, my front peplum, my back peplum, and that nice sleeve. And once that pattern is sewn up, this is how it looks. It's a super quick, super easy pattern to make and to sew. Really nice, basic little summer top. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Tuesday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye folks.